Looking for a REACT uh, another year and another successful grant application. Yes, um, we'd like to thank Ben once again. He's come really forth for us and uh, without this money we can't uh, put on a very successful festival and uh, Ben's always been an active participant, as he said, in the legs and kilt. Um, it's great to have uh, the federal government you know, finance something like this at a local level. Uh, particularly we're trying to grow and become bigger and better, and uh, which we're trying to do. So it's very much appreciated by my staff and the staff at Scottish Festival. Uh, any help that we can get from the federal government. And thank you, Ben, so much. We really appreciate your help. You're a week away from the uh, uh, from the games yeah. and the, the festival. Uh, what's lined up this year? Well, we've got a very exciting year this year. We have the uh, Barry McNeils and Ice McIsaac. Uh, we'll have an East Coast Celtic night on the Saturday night, which is something different that, uh, from the past. We're actually moving our entertainment level up. Uh, we have Shane Cook, Emily Flack, and Kyle Weymouth. Uh, they're going to be here. He's an all a Canadian champion fiddle player, and Emily Flack is a step dancer. So uh, we've got a lot of really good entertainment. Then we have local entertainment as well. So it's going to turn out to be an, an action packed weekend starting on the Friday night. We have the Carrington chapter of the Companions of the Quake. They're going to do a, a malt tasting uh, dinner uh, from 6 30 to 8 30. And then we'll have our local entertainment, and we'll have the Thogs, and we'll have uh, Shane Cook come, come on stage. And uh, then Saturday we have our competition, right? We have our 30, at least 30 pipe bands. I think it's 33 pipe bands. 31. 31. Okay, so we have 31, officially now, 31 pipe bands uh, that will be competing. Uh, we have on Sunday, uh, we have a very good uh, all about wool. Uh, we have Highland cows. We're going to have um, all sorts of fun things on, on the Sunday. And of course we're going to have uh, games for the uh, children as well. Tony, given that you had to apply for the money, it's no surprise, but I've got to say you must consider it icing on the cake. It, uh, it absolutely is icing on the cake. You know, anything that uh, that Ben can help us with, it's, it's always, money's always a bonus. Yes, and we very much appreciate that. What's it cost to put on something like this every year? Uh, it's quite uh, extreme. Uh, we're up and uh, what, what's the actual cost this year? It's our budget's two hundred. Yeah, well, we're looking at 203000 yeah. That's our actual budget. So it's quite quite costly, and we do need a lot of lot of help. And actually, we we're, we're selling our tickets online, if people are interested out there. Ticketscene.ca, you can buy tickets, which is a lot more convenient than we've done in the past. So we've really become very professional, and uh, so and we actually have workshops as well. We have uh, Shane Cook uh, and Emily Flack are going to do uh, workshops. So if anybody is interested in bringing their fiddle along and want to do a bit of step dancing, we're the place. Okay. Thank you.